but I'm so excited to announce that Rock Band 4 has been announced. So in this video, I've read every single article I could get my hands on, as well as watch the trailer that Harmonix put out for Rock Band 4. So I'm basically compiling everything that we know about Rock Band 4 to today, March 5th. Uh, 2015. So let's talk about the survey we filled out. So apparently that survey that Harmonix put out asking us about what we'd like to see in a new rock band was filled out by 70,000 people. So they heard from a lot of different people and the most surprising thing about that survey is that a lot of people still have their old instruments. And the good news is your old instruments like your guitars and microphones and, and drums will be compatible with Rock Band 4. So that's a big sigh of relief for a lot of people. As well as all the DLC you purchased from Rock Band 1 through 3 will be compatible with Rock Band 4. They did hint there would be 5% of songs that may not transfer over because of licensing issues and the Beatles uh, songs will not transfer over either. Um, there will be new instruments. Um, from seeing the photos they put out, the peripherals look the same. Uh, there'll be a new guitar, there'll be a new drum kit and a new microphone. Uh, they look pretty much the same as the past generations but if you don't have them you can pick them up. The game will be uh, coming out for the PS4 and Xbox One. There will be no Wii support this time or Wii U support. The game's due to release this fall. Uh, this is going to be the first game that uh, Harmonix is putting out uh, since since for their first Rock Band game they're putting out since they became an independent studio. They're going to be partnering with Mad Cats, uh, just like they did with Rock Band 3. Uh, there will be no pro guitar uh, in Rock Band 4 or pro instruments at all with the exception of drums. So keys are gone. Guitar is gone, the pro guitar is gone, they're just focusing on the stripped down four piece band and it looks like Harmonies will be making an appearance again judging by the DLC they've been putting out. Uh, they didn't talk too much about gameplay, what changes we'd be seeing, but they did hint that you would be able to interact much more with your bandmates. Um, that's all they really said. They said the story mode would be much more fleshed out, there'd be a much more uh, narrative approach to dealing with the story and the career modes. Uh, they did say that they intend Rock Band 4 to be a platform, so they're not going to be releasing yearly Rock Band games like we saw on last-gen consoles. So they're going to put out Rock Band 4 and just keep supporting it with content. They said some of the content would be free, some of it you'd have to pay for. They didn't say how frequently they'd be releasing DLC, but maybe it'll be monthly like they've been doing the last couple months. Um, that's basically it from the information I gathered. If I missed anything, guys, comment in the section below. I'm super excited. And uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. And if you guys want to stay up to date on the latest Guitar Hero and Rock Band news, hit the subscribe button. And I also want to tell you about some other crazy project I just started. So every week I'm t talking about the best customs you can download on Rock Band for the Xbox 360. So I just started doing it last week. If you guys want to check out my first video, click the annotation box and you can see the best customs that came out for Rock Band uh, from last week. And this Saturday I'll be putting up a brand new video. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care.